Today I'm gonna to be trying some rare and exotic fruit from Miami Fruit. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited about today's video. I'm gonna be trying out some rare and exotic fruit that I normally don't get to see or even have the chance to buy at supermarkets. I went on a recent trip to Florida and got to pick up some of this fruit from Miami Fruit. If you guys haven't heard of them, miamifruit.org is run by my two friends, Adele and Rain. Super cool down to earth people and they have access to a bunch of tropical and rare varieties of fruit. They're obviously based in Miami, but they do ship fresh and dried fruit around the US. So definitely check them out. All right. So what do we have here? We have yellow dragon fruit, which a bunch of you guys told me that you really, really like. Can't wait to get into that. We have different varieties of bananas. We have some passion fruit, some gambage. I'm no fruit expert, so I apologize if I'm not pronouncing these right. And cacao fruit. And if you don't know, this is where chocolate comes from. Honestly, I don't know which one to start with. I think I'm gonna go with the bananas, because after all, I am the bananiac. Okay, I think this is a Grand Michel. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try it. Super tiny banana. These are always really sweet. I don't know if I've ever had this variety though. A plus for sure. Yeah, I like I said, the small bananas are usually more sweet than like your regular Cavendish banana. I definitely like that. Wow, this one is super curved. Look at that. It's like a moon banana. Definitely never tried this one before. And what I notice is this one is spotty like a Cavendish would be when it's ripe, while the last variety that I tried is not that spotty, but it tasted great. All right, let's give this a go. Mmm. For as tiny as this thing is, it packs a sweet punch, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's definitely better than the last one. They're both great, but this one is super sweet. Oh man, I wish I had like a hundred of these right now. <laughs> All right, so I think I've had this type of banana before. It's really thick. There are no black spots, like circle spots on here, but more like black smudges. Interesting, this one's not peeling as easily. It appears that maybe it's just a little bit more starchy than the other ones. It's almost like a mini plantain. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not as sweet as the first two. I wonder if it's not ripe enough. I don't know if I ate this too soon. Not bad though. All right, I'm gonna open one of these because you guys have been talking about them and telling me how much you love them. My friend Rain told me not to eat too many of these at once because they will have you running to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it, but I am gonna try it. So I've had dragon fruit before. I've had the regular purple variety and I've had the white variety but never the one that's like yellow on the outside and from what I'm told these are the best the dragon fruit that I've had it's like so bland and tasteless so I'm looking forward to trying these from all the reviews that I've heard from everyone okay so the inside of this is more like clear than white or anything. And the seeds are much bigger than other dragon fruits from what I can remember. So I guess you eat them? I don't know, let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that is much sweeter than a regular dragon fruit for sure. The seeds are kind of crunchy, so you could definitely bite into them. Almost like um, if you ever tried a hemp seed before. Yeah, super easy to bite into, but like the clear jelly stuff is pretty sweet. All right, I have faith in dragon fruits again. All right, I'm gonna try this gambage. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never heard of it. I've never tried it before. I don't think I've ever seen it before. So let's give it a shot. I think I feel a seed in the middle. Definitely a seed in the middle. Kind of reminds me of a stone fruit, like a peach or a plum with that seed in the middle. Let me see, the flesh is very soft. Hmm. It has to be a stone fruit. Oh man. It's kind of sour. Oh, that is that is really sour. But it's cool. I, I like it. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, it kind of tastes like lemony. I'll give this another go. It's definitely a weird feeling in that. Yeah, very citrusy, but it looks like a stone fruit. Definitely interesting. I've had passion fruit, I've had passion fruit juice before, but I don't know, I, to be honest with you, I don't really remember too much of it. I know there's a bunch of little seeds. Yeah, I think it kind of just had a neutral effect on me. Whoa, this is like oozing. It's just so weird looking. I don't know if you can eat these seeds or not. 
crunchy. I'd say that's more like a bittersweet type taste. Like there's definitely some sweetness there and some sourness too. Maybe it's the seeds that make it a little bit bitter. Yeah, but for me, passion fruit was never my favorite type of fruit. I don't know, maybe it'd be better to juice it or to put it in a smoothie or something. But I know that the skin has to be super wrinkly in order for it to be ripe. This one seems pretty wrinkly. I wonder if I could have left it to ripen a bit more. Maybe that's the reason why. Let me actually try the other varieties here because they do have different colors or different sizes. And this one actually is even more wrinkly than the other one. It smells good though, very tropical. It's definitely got like a tangy, sour type of taste to it. This one is actually more orange than the other variety. And this one is not as wrinkly as the other one. So I almost don't want to open it because I'm going to guess this probably isn't right. Yeah, I'm going to save this and try it a little bit later. But I think passion fruit, I, I don't know. Let me let me know. Do you guys have a passion for passion fruit? Maybe it's just my personal preference. I When I like to eat fruit, I love it when it's sweet, not as much as sour. But then again, this gambage. <laughs> Whoa, man, that's like a different sourness to it. All right, now I'm gonna try the cacao fruit. I've left this for the end. Oh, this is so dramatic. I've never even held this before, never seen it. I don't know, it's crazy. Like when you shake it, you can hear the insides moving. Super cool. I'm gonna open this up. Actually, I'm probably gonna need another plate for these. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this orangey variety of the fruit. Here we go. It's not as easy to open. Being very careful here. Okay, this is gonna be a little tougher than I thought. Okay, yeah, so you really gotta slice through that. Dang, dude, come on. Whoa, oh, that looks crazy in there. This is an alien pod, man. Whoa, this is not what I expected. Like, well, I, I had no idea what I was getting into anyway. My friends, this is where chocolate comes from. I'm just eating around the cacao bean here. I was actually expecting there would be like more fruity flesh, but it's just a bunch of the cacao beans. It's got like a subtle sweetness to it. I don't know if there's enough flesh around the cacao bean to like get a really good sense of what this flavor is, but I could definitely taste a little bit of sweetness in here. It's not bad at all, no bitterness or anything. Kind of slimy, but all right, I'm gonna open up this other variety. It's like a green reddish. Whoa. Okay, that from the get-go has a completely different smell. Very interessante. Okay, so the first variety doesn't even have a, a really, any smell to it. And then this has a very, very strong smell. I don't know what to think of it. The flesh around this cacao bean is not as jelly or slimy as the first variety. Yeah, the flavor of this one is much more pronounced than the first one. and. It's actually really good. Yeah, yeah. This is this has like a like a I don't know, like a fruity flavor. That's terrible because I'm trying fruits to describe it like that, but it tastes like what fruit should taste. Yeah, I want to describe it like a very sweet, like citrus almost. I wonder if you were to turn these beans into chocolate. I wonder if they would have a different flavor as well because even the beans are different sizes. But yeah, I, I really like this variety. It tastes really good. And then it's the last one. This is the all red variety, I'm going to call it. Let's see if this is any different. Yeah, the smell of this one is more like the second variety. And I would say the fruity flesh around the seed is the same as the second variety as well. So maybe it's just the same variety, just like a little a different hint of color or maybe Maybe it's closely related. Let's give it a shot. But yeah, the flavor though is much more subtle than it is with the second variety. Interesting, I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I was opening these three cacao fruits. I thought they were gonna be the same, but definitely a different experience with them. So here are my thoughts. The bananas, for sure, some of the best bananas I've ever had. So the dragon fruit was good. It was definitely way better than the other varieties that I've tasted. The Gambots, where is that thing? This is so interesting eating this. However, the passion fruit, it, it's just not for me. I don't know if I ate it when it was underripe, but it's not something that I would just go to when I'm looking for a fruit. I, I would definitely pick these other fruits over the passion fruit. And the cacao fruit is very interesting. If you've never tried it before, I'd say give it a shot. There's not much flesh in it though, so it's not something that you're gonna fill up on, but something interesting to open up and just to witness for yourself, you know? So many people open up chocolate wrappers, eat the chocolate. Not many people get to open up a cacao fruit. And it's very disconnecting, like people know chocolate comes from cacao beans, but how many people have actually tried it? I just think it's a great experience to like hold this fruit in, 
your hands, try it for yourself. And that goes with any fruit, like fruit is amazing. It's just hard to wrap your mind around that. This stuff comes straight out of the earth for you to put directly in your mouth without having to process it or cook it or any of that. And there's so many varieties out there. There's more varieties of fruit out there that if you were to try one new fruit per day, you wouldn't be able to eat all the fruits by the time you die. Have you guys tried any of these? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't, let me know which ones you would wanna try out the most. Guys, get going, try some of these. And if you guys wanna order from Miami Fruit, just go to miamifruit.org, check out their stuff. They vary by season, of course. And like I said, if you're in the States, they will ship you fresh or dried fruits as well. I wanna thank Rain and Adele for hooking me up and letting me try all these awesome fruits. If you guys wanna see more fruit tastings in the future, let me know which fruits you guys want me to taste. Subscribe down below for more videos on plant-based nutrition, fitness, and vegan lifestyle tips. And give it a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.